Good morning, everybody. Uh, hope you guys had a better morning than I did. Uh, more or less got up and the kids were already all over us. But it's not here, that I'm the kids that I'm ta talking about. Um, although I have to mention them again, because yesterday I tried to watch Italy play Poland and the entire first half you could not find a peaceful moment to watch and yeah. At least the second half I got. Uh, game ended 1-1, although I was very lucky for Italy. I really th thought Poland was had the better chances at least. Italy tried to have control, but yeah, they, they have some way to go. I like the way the penalty by Jorginho was made. This little extra dance move that he did before shooting the ball was interesting to see. Uh, definitely put the goalish goalkeeper off. And yeah, I mean, I think for on the Italy side, the only chances were half chances of uh, Bernardeschi shooting it wide, but Chiesa brought a uh, little bit more Elan on, and I think also Buonaventura. But overall, Poland seemed better. Poland was a team. Ah, and the interesting thing is the Polish coach, Jerzy Przemczyk, uh, is now was a former player, first for Innsbruck, where he really was great, and then Lusk bought him, and before everything fell down in '98. Uh, yeah, he was one of the better players at Lusk, although not the star player at that moment. Well, other games. There was Turkey against Russia. Uh, the atmosphere at the beginning was great, uh, but from what I could, could, could get, uh, Turkey was a team of individuals and Russia actually took the game to them. Uh, Cherishev got, uh, got the goal and a lucky uh, equalizer by Aziz and Juba got a Typical Juba call to make it 2-1. Uh, yeah, the Russians seem to have some energy from the World Cup. Uh, and the young Turkish team, I think, has to find its way. Um, so, yeah. Kind of, to me, a little bit surprising the result, but Turkey has not been that great as of late. So, yeah. Um, that was the other marquee matchup. I think then uh, Serbia played in... Lithuania, uh, where they dominated proceedings, but Lithuania had two good chances. Uh, Serbia converted the penalty, uh, got a second one that was saved, so maybe there could have been a Lithuanian draw, but I think overall uh, Serbia winning was okay. Albania beat Israel. Also, yeah, not too surprising. Uh, Israel, I saw, has now a, um, Puma shirts again, which in light blue. Uh, I, and, and we will see in October, the Albania kids also look nice. Speaking of kit matchups, let's let's talk about the three games. I really like Poland against uh, Italy or the other way around. That's a classic matchup. Blue and white and white and red. Uh, I love that one. That's what I wanted to see for Germany against France. Uh, classic kits. Um, and uh, Russia, Turkey, yeah, red, all red versus all white. Uh, okay, I guess. I. The Turkey kids, the new ones, are a huge improvement over the previous version. So uh, that's always a plus. And yeah, Serbia, Lithuania. I, Lithuania has a color co co combination that you don't see in, often in Europe uh, with the yellow and the green. Uh, it's interesting to see. Uh, the Serbian jerseys, I really hope they get some something more custom made because uh, those just look cheap, I'm sorry to say. Not feeling of a team that plays at the World Cup. Um, and yeah, um, I said already, um, Albania against Israel uh, was an interesting color match because Israel with a very light uh, blue and Albania with uh, red and black. Um, almost, yeah, stormtrooper thing against the, uh, the rebels in a way. Nah, it, it doesn't fit color wise, but you know, you know what I mean. The Albanians look kind of dark and menacing, and the Israeli uh, exactly the opposite. And yeah, Albania won that one. I think it was uh, Talan Chaka who scored the goal. I also saw the highlights of the Ferry Islands against Malta, where Ferry won 3 1, uh, fully deserved from what I saw. Uh, highlight also from Kosovo, uh, Azerbaijan against Kosovo. I actually saw a little bit of that game, and yeah, after about 10 minutes watching that one. I decided, no, I'm not that crazy to watch it. That was not a good game and it ended in a 0-0 draw. Uh, I have a feeling that I'm missing out on another game that I uh, I watched the highlights, but you know, there are just so many I got 
to the uh, most important ones. Let well, me know which games you watched and what you thought about all these games and uh, share with me your experiences. I hope you could watch uh, in more quiet than I did or maybe with some friends, which is also nice. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.